here in Chicago, home of Al Capone, the Cubs, and deep dish pizza. There's no other pizza like it. I mean, you can go to any restaurant you want. You'll never get a pizza that's like Chicago pizza. You can't help but love it. Chicago-style deep dish pizza is exactly what it sounds like. Unlike East Coast thin crust, there's no way you can fold a slice of this pie. The architectural design for this mini tower of pizza is credited to former University of Texas football star Ike Sewell, who felt Chicago could use a pizza hearty enough to match the city's sure-of-itself attitude. In 1943, Sewell opened Pizzeria Uno on Chicago's busy north side and debuted the deep dish, which was designed to fortify hungry Chicagoans against anything the city had to dish out. Ike Sewell said, I think pizza can be a whole meal in and of itself. So he created the deep dish pizza, and after much trial and error, we have perfected our recipe, and it is the same today. Folks, right this way? in your party today. Four in your party? Okay, here at Pizzeria Uno, the pizzas do take about 45 minutes to an hour to bake. So what we do is we go ahead and we take your pizza order right at the door. So while you're waiting for your table, we'll go ahead and start cooking our pizza for you. <laughs> you gotta use a knife and a fork to eat a deep dish pizza. You, you can't pick it up. I mean, you're looking at, you know, a, a thick slice of pie. You're not gonna be able to pick that up. The cheese is gooey and ooey, and you gotta use a knife and a fork. Deep dish pizza is like a personality thing. You just, you make it your own. My favorite thing on the menu is the numero uno. I like the big patties of sausage and then pepperoni. I like the taste of the peppers and the onion and there's no other pizza like it. They perfected it. The crust is awesome. It's not soggy. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> uno, the Italian word for one, is a fitting name for the first place to serve Ike Sewell's Chicago-style pizza. Uno's is recognized in Chicago history as creating the deep dish pizza. We have been recognized by Mayor Daly. The actual street out here on the corner is called Ike Sewell Way. So it goes down in Chicago history as we are the creators of the deep dish pizza. Over 60 years have passed since the first Uno's deep dish was served, and their formula for great pizza hasn't changed. It's made from scratch every single day. So it just doesn't make you hungry, nothing. Vegetables. We've used the same vendors locally forever. The eatery itself looks more like a Chicago speakeasy than a family restaurant. The basement level dining hall has dark paneled walls and a well stocked bar. You're going to see tons of pictures on the wall, history of Chicago, history of Uno's. We have tons of pizza awards, just beautiful tin ceiling. It's a very, very small joint. And we seat 65 people. So you're just going to see like really tight quarters and you're going to get really up close and personal with everybody who works here and everybody that's sitting around you. It's good. I like the crust. Obviously very characteristic of Chicago style pizza. You get the true deep dish experience. New York can keep that thin, big, spliced feet up. Can't do that at all. The original deep dish is here. You don't have deep dish when you come to Chicago. You haven't had deep dish pizza anywhere. Today, Pizzeria Uno is an international chain with over 200 locations. But to have the original deep dish experience, there's only one place to go. Welcome to Uno. But the story of Chicago-style pizza runs deeper than just one pizza place. Pizzeria Uno's phenomenal success became the inspiration for other restaurants in the area to dive into the deep dish game. Worked up a pretty good business. One of the most famous is Lou Malnati's, a pizzeria located about 13 miles from the originator. Besides Chicago-style pizza, the two restaurants have another connection. Lou Malnati and his father, Rudy, once helped manage Pizzeria Uno. My grandfather was involved at the inception. My dad joined him a few years later when he came over from Italy. And then, in 1971, my dad decided to go out on his own. This was his first place here in Lincolnwood, Illinois. 
When Lou Malnati brought the deep dish concept to Lincolnwood, it was like music to the locals' ears. A great pizza is like a great symphony. All the flavors, all the players have to be working together. Working in unison. Malnati's pizza begins with the flakiest buttery crust that you can imagine. Some people liken it to eating cookie dough right out of the bucket. On top of that, Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Chicago being the pork capital of the world, they top it with a hefty layer of Italian sausage. And others might have vegetables or pepperoni, little tomato sauce, fresh chunky tomatoes, little cheese on top. Are you ready to eat? Chucky! You gotta go, Chucky! It's really an art form unto itself. It's the right combination and the layers, and you get people that think they've tried Chicago pizza, but until they come here and try it, they don't know what they're missing. I'm not any pizza expert, but the, the fact that you gotta scrape the cheese off every single time you serve a piece, it's, it's pretty impressive. My dad was the guy who created a product that people wanted to carry into other states with them. They wanted to ship. They, they wanted us to, to wrap it up and, so they could put it on an airplane. And today, we're shipping hundreds of thousands of pizzas a year. Okay, now, who's going sausage? Oh, boy. Is this going to be good? Today, Mark Malnati and his family make pizza the same way Lou did. All right, dig in. I'll bet you 10 bucks you can't leave any on the table. I'm going to make one, Chuck. I'll send you a piece. We go out of our way to say that we are not progressive. This is the pizza that doesn't change. We don't go for the pineapple. We don't go for the tofu. We don't go for rooster eggs. We don't go for anything out of the ordinary. We want cheese and sausage, whole tomato. Just bring it like it's been coming for 30, 40, 50 years. But if you've still got room after your meal, you might want to try Mark's signature dessert pizza. The only thing to do at dessert time is, is to have a chocolate chip pizza. Nothing finishes your meal quite like this. And you know, even though you're full, with cheese and sausage at this point, there's always that little pocket in your stomach that remains open and available for dessert. This will fill up. So we have chocolate chip cookie dough, and we just press it out. We're not really going to cook it all the way. We're going to scare this just a little bit. So let's get this baby right in the oven now. Bake until it's two minutes from being really done, and then topping it with ice cream and whipped cream and cherry. <laughs> the Malnati family pizza tradition involves more than the success of the restaurant. It feels like you come to grandma's house, grandpa's house, and it's just family and friends that are around. No nonsense meal. Food groups. You have to get the right stuff on your pizza. There's something nurturing about pizza. It's almost as if mom was making bread at home. Smell it. Look at that cheese. Melted cheese. Oh, Chuck. Tomato sauce. What's better? You gotta have it. That's what I like about it. Chicago deep dish. Mm -hmm. Coming up on Pizza Paradise. Don't pack your bags just yet. We're stopping by one more Chicago joint where pizzas aren't just deep. These babies are deep dish on steroids and bulging at the seams. It's almost like a fruit pie. Wow. A bit unusual, a little bit like lasagna. That would be Gino's yeast. 31st, 